Is my food not good enough for your refined palate? Just not hungry. Well, I bet the kids from that god-awful orphanage, <laughs> I bet you they would be thrilled to be here. You wanna go back there? What's going on down there? Hush up. What an ungrateful brat. No wonder no one wanted you. Go ahead and take me back then. Get out of here! Get out of here, damn it! I'll shoot you, kill! Get out of here! I'll show you teeth to be out of here! Gotta stop kicking open things. You're doing no one no good. Okay, you settle down, get some rest. See you in the morning. <laughs> you. Don't you worry. I'm gonna fix that thing. I'm gonna fix that thing for you. Should have fixed it long ago. Oh, damn it. Oh, jeez. I'll be back.
sleeper. You know, it's kind of rude to watch someone sleep. You have to go home. You can't go with me. Go away. Stop. Just go home. <laughs> you can't go with me, so just go back home, okay? Go back. Go home. Follow me then. I'm taking you back.
How long you been sleeping here? You shot that horse. How do you know it couldn't have gotten better? I'll tell you how this is going to go. I'm going to ask the questions, and then you're going to answer. Is that clear? Take your horse. Keeps following me around. He is a she. She's in for a rough time now. She just lost her mother. So what are you, a runaway? Fine, don't answer. You work it out with the police anyway. I only stayed here last night. How old are you? 18. Sure. Then I'm 35. I have a pituitary gland issue. It, it inhibits my growth. That's a good one. Where'd you come up with that one? Are you going to call the cops? Please don't. Listen, you don't understand. I can't go back there. Please don't report me. Please. Last thing I need is to deal with the cops over some juvenile delinquent with a big vocabulary. That horse trusts you. Maybe you can help me get her in the stable and then go on your way. I won't say a peep. What's her name? Philly. Come here, Philly. Come on. Come on, Philly. That's it. Good girl. Good girl, Philly. Come on, Philly. <laughs> That's a good girl. So? Stay, Philly. You know horses, huh? No. But I like animals. Philly. Doesn't that mean young female horse? That's it. Real creative. Really spent a lot of time on that name. Well, she's a horse, honey. She don't care. I certainly don't. Just like you don't care that you shot her mom. If you follow that fence, it'll take you to the road. It's a good three-hour walk into town. Shelly, come on. If you're late, you know what's gonna happen. Shelly. Shelly? Come on, wake up. Let's go. Grab your jackets. We're gonna be late. Where's uh, where's Shelly? Shelly? Oh, Cheryl, will you run up there and go get her, please? No, she's sick and has a big bruise. You probably don't want her seeing the social worker today. Man, that kid is more trouble than she is worth. Okay, Caitlin, do me a favor. Go grab the box of protein bars, please. They're all gone. What? How can that be? I just bought them yesterday. Okay, come on. We, we actually don't have time anyway. Let's go. You got everything? Yeah. Okay, good, good, good. Let's go.
There you go. Breakfast. Yeah, nice grain. Yeah, eat something. Come on, eat something. Here. Look, you're mad at me, huh? You and I gotta learn to get along. It's just you and me now. I'm mad at me too. be responsible if you freeze to death. So, Mr. Corrali, how was she? Who? Your horse. She's dead. Then how was she? 24, 24. So the wolves got her? Yeah. Too bad there's an ordinance against shooting them. I see them wolves again, I'll shoot every damn last one of them. And then I'll track down the guy who made that ordinance, I'll shoot him too. When can you come by? Uh, we can have someone by later this afternoon. That's good. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Right here. Thank you. <clears throat> What's your problem? I work for tips. Well, I'll give you one. Don't beg for what you don't deserve. How's that for a tip? No wonder nobody likes you. What'd you say? Have a nice day. What you were named her? Named who? The filly. I don't know. Wait. I got it. Orphan. Orphan? Yeah. That's that's what she is now. You think that's a better name than filly? Definitely. It's the damn worst name for a horse I ever heard. Whatever. Look, look. I got a problem. Yeah. Seems like you got a lot of problems. You should talk. What's your problem? I got a depressed horse. Won't eat. You know, I didn't eat anything for a week after my mom died. What made you finally eat? Hunger. Hunger, OK. I got a bunch of groceries. Good for you. Are you hungry? No. I'm good. Forget it. OK. I guess I might be a little hungry. OK, get in then, if you have no better plans. And I'll drop you in town later. Hi. 
So how is everyone doing? We're good. I mean, it couldn't be better. That's great. I think, though, we might be missing one. Um, Shelly? We are. Shelly has the stomach flu. She's sick. Oh. She's a poor baby. She was throwing up all morning. It's terrible. OK, well, let's get started. Is everyone adjusting to the country? You guys aren't used to being out there. No, but they love it. I mean, they've been great. Really loving it. That's great. <laughs> I just uh, I want to hear it from them. Oh, yeah. Understandable. <laughs> yeah. So, <clears throat> any challenges? Nothing. I love it. You know, it's pretty normal to experience some challenges in the beginning. Well, maybe. Maybe what? The challenge is just getting used to having such great parents. <laughs> and what about what about you two? Uh, nothing. No challenges. I love it. Okay. So. I actually have to assess all of the children before I'm able to release the check. It's just protocol, so I'm gonna need to talk to Shelly. I can assure you, though, that she's doing great. I mean, she's she's happy, she's adjusted, she's... I'm sure that she is. It's, it's just protocol. I, I have to talk to her. So I could come by later today. I have some time. Yeah, it's just that she's so sick. Um, can I just bring her in on another day? I don't, I don't mind. Plus, we can take care of one of your site visits, and I will be able to give you the check while I'm there. Okay, yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Okay. You got a name? Yeah. It's Michelle, but everyone just calls me Shelly. Okay. Benjamin Crowley. You don't look like a Benjamin. It's just Ben. Put that away. Too messy. It's your house. I can make uh, eggs or sandwiches. Uh, sandwich is cool. Ham and turkey. I'm vegan. Get out of here. I don't like eating animals. Well, I can make a lettuce and tomato sandwich. Sure. Sounds good. Sounds terrible. I'll put some cheese on it. I'm vegan. Not a vegetarian. Look, I'm not up on all this stuff. How about a peanut butter and jelly? Can you eat that? Yeah. That's what you're going to get. So what was her name? The one the horse that you killed. The wolf's killer. Didn't know wolves can shoot guns. You think because you don't eat meat that you like animals more than me? My horse was suffering. The wolf's killed her, period. I should have fixed that wall better. Didn't want to put him in the other stable because the latch was broke. Should have fixed that too. Freedom. That was her name. Freedom. That's a good horse name. Yeah. 
Yeah. Come on, let's see if you can help me. You can take that with you. Eat anything? Let's see. Nothing, huh? Nothing. <clears throat> Maybe we get you some exercise. You build up an appetite, huh, Billy? Orphan. <laughs> Come here, orphan. Come on, girl. You win. That's a good girl. Often. Talk about a depressing name. Not if you own it. Then it makes you stronger. An orphan is sad, but just orphan? That's strong. She's a survivor. You think you can get her out to the corral? Orphan. Race you. <laughs> What was that? Yes. Come on, Beth. Orphan, you don't need to see this. That's it. Now she's over here in the back. At first, people feel sorry for you, but it doesn't last long. After a while, you're, you're pretty much on your own. No one will ever love you as much as your mother. People will act like they care. But they don't. They just do whatever makes them feel the best about themselves. I'm telling you this. I mean, someone has to. I wish someone would afford me. Clean that up. We have, we have to find her. We'll catch you. Stop we'll, it. We'll catch you later. I'm gonna clean that up. No. Nope. We gotta take care of business. Orphan. Dirty places. Is I'll come get you. Where is she? Where is she? I don't know. What, Gerald? I don't Where know. I she? promise I don't. She was gone this morning. Well, you told me she was sick this morning. Did you lie to us? Okay, you go wash your face. Get. Okay, I got this. Oh, hi. Hi. Um, you just missed her. 
Gerald took her to the doctor to check on that flu of hers. Oh. And you know, now I feel like, I feel like all the kids are starting to come down with something. It's... Do you know which doctor it is that they went to see? I'll just write it down and pop by. I, I don't know. And Gerald doesn't have a cell phone, so yeah, I can, I can let you know when he comes back. You have two cars? Uh, no, um, no, because Gerald's brother took them to the doctor today. I like to always try to keep a car here, just in case. Is everything okay? Do you mind if I come in for a moment, actually? Sure. I mean, you're gonna have to enter at your own risk, because it is germ warfare in here. <laughs> you know what? It's fine. I'll check back tomorrow. Okay. Okay. I hope she feels better. Thank you. Thanks. So, uh, be safe. You too. All right. We best find that girl. Oh, it's not too bad. It's not too bad, see? Don't hurt, hydrogen peroxide. That's a good one for you to know. All right, how about that elbow? What happened there? I should fix that. This is nothing. What's this? It, it's nothing. I'm just a klutz. Who did that to you? No one. Come on. Let's go find her. It's Caroline. I just saw a horse running outside your property, so I thought I would call and let you know. Armin! Armin! She must be so scared. All alone. No one. Yeah, especially this one. Never left the mother's side since she was born. Well, at least you guys have each other. Truth is, she never took to me. This limp I got, from when she busted up my knee. <clears throat> Does Orphan have a horse, Dad? Daddy was a test tube of $50,000 stallion semen. Dude, come on, that's gross. <laughs> I'm sorry. Guess I forgot I was talking to a kid. How about you, you got a human daddy? Nope. It's just me and my mom. You better hope we find her. Hey. How long have you been waiting? I don't know, maybe, maybe an hour. I'm so sorry, I was doing a site visit. Yeah, well, it wouldn't be a problem if you actually gave me a key to your place. Gave you a toothbrush, that's a big step for me. Yeah, way to commit. Told you I'm a slow steady. Yeah, well there's slow, then there's Caroline slow. Three years for a toothbrush. Maybe in another three you'll get a key. Seriously though, what are we doing? We're not doing anything, we're just uh, we're hanging out. We're dating. I don't know, Jake, why do you have to always label everything? Yeah, I guess you're right. I guess if there's not a label, there's no need to actually break up. Break up? What, because you don't have a key? It's not about a key, Caroline. I want to be with you for the rest of my life, and you just want to hang out. I told you, I have... Daddy issues. I know. Well, at some point, you have to grow up and accept the fact that your daddy isn't here, and he's not an issue. So, good luck with everything. Good luck with everything? Are you serious right now? Jake! Goodbye, Caroline. Orphan! Here, girl! It's 
getting dark now. Let's get back. What about the wolves? She can't just be out here all by herself. Maybe she already found a way back. Let's go. Orphan! Come here, girl! We'll leave the doors open in case she wanders back tonight. She'll turn up. This is her home. Where else is she gonna go? Okay. I think I'm just gonna sleep in the stables tonight in case she comes back. Up. Don't be ridiculous. This is, it's freezing down here. I got the, I got the, the couch. I'll be safe there. But just one more day. And then uh, tomorrow you can, you know, go do what you plan on doing. Hey, there's a light blinking on this thing here. What is it? Answering machine. Dude, that's so old school. Did you get it? 90s. You mean like the 1890s? Hey, leave that alone. Don't, don't be poking around my stuff. Hey, it's Caroline. I just saw a horse running outside your property, so I thought I would call and let you know. Damn it. It wasn't freedom. Well, just wanted to let you know, that's all. Who's Caroline? Just somebody. Come on, honey, eat something, will you? Do you have any idea what a lobster goes through before he reaches maturity? You eat like a little birdie. You eat like a pig. Yeah. Yeah. Don't get too excited. Only gets five channels. If the reception is bad, just Jimmy the rabbit ears. Rabbit ears? Oh. You don't know everything, huh? Rabbit ears, see? And don't worry. If she don't come back tonight, we'll find her tomorrow. Good night. I know you're gonna think this is awful silly. Hey. What is an animal rendering service do? You want the truth? Or the kitty version? Well, let's start with the kitty version. Okay, well the animal rendering service took freedom away and delivered it to horsey heaven. Okay. And the truth? You don't want to know. Get some sleep. It's time I know don't use Dad's toothpaste, because it's disgusting. He has a brush as fast, too. Mom says you're supposed to rest for one thing. That's it.
we could ride horses like we talked about. Your mom is dead and so is hers. Hey, get away from her! You don't tell me what to do! Gerald! Get away from her! Stop! No! What happened? Orphan. She, she was right here looking down at me and then, then I screamed and I guess I just scared her off and she ran. She, she ran out here. She ran this way. I'm sure she's still out there. What were you doing out here? Well, I just, I just couldn't sleep. I just, just wanted to be up in case she came back. Maybe the wolves will come back too. Yeah, well, I know she's close. And I just I really need to be here in case she comes back, OK? It ain't safe here. Well, if you're scared, then uh, you can go back in, inside in the house. I understand. Night. It's a private property. I'm sorry for the intrusion, especially so early in the morning. We're just, we're looking for our little girl. She's missing. And she's, she's only 12. And she's just cute as a button. She really is. But she's not used to being out here in the country. So we're really, really concerned. 12. She run away? No, no. I, I think she just got lost. I mean, you know how it is being out in these parts, being a city kid. She's your daughter, you say, huh? Not, not our blood daughter. We're... We're foster parents, but, but we love them like our own, even if she is troubled. What do you mean, troubled? Well, she's got a lot of behavioral issues, like a lot of the kids that come to us. She's, she's intellectually advanced, but emotionally, she's very unstable. So we're really worried about her being out here on her own. If you do know anything about her or anything about her whereabouts, can you, can you let us know, please? I don't know anything about no kid. This is private property. If she come through here, she'd be trespassing like you're doing now. So you could turn around. Good luck in your search. Orphan. Orphan. Orphan, you're back. Orphan. It's okay, Orphan. It's okay. It's okay, you didn't mean it. Yeah, I'm okay. You just got scared. I know. You took your mom away, huh? It's okay. It's okay, girl. Hi. 
Hey. Ted and Gerald aren't here. Oh, that's okay. Do you mind if maybe I talk to you? May I come in? They would probably be mad if we let somebody in. You're right. You're right. That's not fair of me to ask you. I mean, you can come in if you want to. No, no. So how are you feeling? Fine. But weren't you getting sick? No, I feel good. Oh, okay. What about Shelly? They still haven't found her. What do you mean they haven't found her? I don't really know anything. Honey, is Shelly missing? She may have run away. She may have run away. When did she maybe do this? Yesterday. They're out looking for her now. Caitlin, you did the right thing. Please, don't tell them I told you. Deal. I was never here. You know, we have a lot in common like that. We both, we both lost our moms. I'm glad you're in my life, Orphan. I don't have a lot of people. You're like my best friend. You like when I brush your hair? That's good, that's good. Yeah, we'll put a carrot in the trough. She's getting the idea. Oh, look, she, uh, she... Well, that's a good girl. Good yeah. girl, Orphan. It's always been trouble ever since she was born. The mother was old when she had him, and maybe that's why she come out a little squirrely. Okay, she's not squirrely. No wonder she doesn't like you. The mother was the opposite. Freedom was great with everybody. Well, Orphan's just misunderstood. When I talk to her, I really feel like she understands everything I'm saying. And earlier, she felt bad because she made me skin my knee. Oh, she felt bad, did she? Yeah. Listen, maybe if you would just apologize to her, she would be much nicer to you. You want me to apologize to a horse? I ain't apologizing to a horse. I don't expect her to like you. Well, whether she likes me or not, a horse got to eat every day. If she keeps this up, you're going to get sick real fast. I can get a lot of trouble, you know, I'm not reporting you and letting you stay here. One more night. We'll let Philly get settled, and then uh, I'll drop you in town tomorrow. I, uh, I understand. And her name is Orphan. Hey, Jake, don't hang up. It's business, not personal. I've got a set of fosters that I think are trying to cover up a runaway. Can you help? You talking about Marta and Gerald Jenkins? Yeah, I am. Yeah, I'm going to meet him right now. Had a feeling. I'm on my way. You hold it like this. You see where I'm holding it? Hold it like this. You're going to put this up over her nose, and then this part is going to go, uh, this part here. Put this stuff over her ear. Oh, yeah. No, she, she, that's not because she don't like me, which she don't, but uh, horses are a prey animal. They spook easy. This is gonna take time. Freedom took two weeks before she let her put, put a halter on her. Oh, well, isn't that something? She's just letting you do it. Good girl. Look at that. Well, that's a good girl. See? Told you she wanted to do this. Maybe if you would just apologize, she would actually let you. Why am I not surprised? See? Look. You take the rope, just walk in front of it. She's gonna walk with you. Come on, she walks with you anyway. See? Good She's gonna girl. walk with you. Good girl. Nice and easy. Hey! Hey! You lied to me. Caroline. No, 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 no. They sat in my office yesterday. They looked me right in the face and they lied to me. Okay, Caroline, just give them a chance. No, I assure you, the second that we found out that she was missing, we came right to the police. And when was that? That was a couple of hours ago. That's a lie. She was missing yesterday, OK? You didn't want to tell me because you wanted the check. If anything happens to this girl, it's on you. Caroline, you're out of line. We woke up this morning, and she was gone. When did you uh, take her to the doctor? That was yesterday. What doctor did you take her to? I didn't take her to the doctor. See, 
another lie. She was feeling better, so I thought it was best to take her back home. I think she just had a 24-hour flu. Okay, all right, let's focus on the bigger issue. We have a missing girl. Thank you. Can we focus on what's important here, please? We're trying to find our daughter. Well, she couldn't have gotten too far on foot. Right, but if she's been missing an extra 24 hours, that drastically changes the search parameters. I don't appreciate the accusations. I think it's really inappropriate coming from somebody who's supposed to be trying to help us. I am not here to help you. I am here for the child's welfare. Do you understand that? All right, let's just settle I down, can't. okay? I can't. I can't. Just people. settle down, all right? Do you guys have any idea where she could be? We looked at all the farms all around town, nothing. I mean, everybody was really helpful, except for Crowley. Yeah, well, that's the way old Ben can be. That man's had a lot of tragedy in his life. Isn't that right, Caroline? She would have gone a lot farther than the Crowley farm. And besides, Ben Crowley is someone you run away from. Not to. Hey, I left a grill. Pancakes for dinner? Well, it's either that or a nice juicy steak. Pancakes are much better. So, you never eat meat, huh? Only when my foster mom forces me to. After my real mom died, I went vegan. I didn't want to kill anything that had a mother or could be a mother, and plus it's healthier. You need protein for your muscles. Look at horses. They don't need meat, and they're strong. You ain't a horse, honey. So, are you gonna have a funeral for freedom? Funeral? Yeah. Yeah, I think you should have one. I mean, I bet Orphan would like it. You grew up on too many cartoons of singing fish and talking donkeys. Animals don't have funerals for each other in nature. You can learn a lot from animals. They move on. They don't, uh, they don't linger in the past. Well, if you really believe that, then why are you? You don't know what you're talking about. OK, no offense, but I mean, look at this place. The, the answering machine, the rabbit ears, they're clearly lingering in the past. Some of us only have the past. You're a kid. This will be a distant memory for you someday. I still think you should have a funeral for her. Last thing I'm going to do is have a funeral for a horse. OK. Now, will you say something? Who wants to go first? Why should let the horse go first? Right. Orphan? God. That was good. Well said, Orphan. I'll go next. God loves all creatures, big and small. I assume that he had a good life. <laughs> you are a great mother to orphan. I hope you're running around in horsey heaven. Now you. Well, Rita was a, you know, she was all I had. She was a, this is silly, she was just a horse. <laughs> I know. I miss my mom too. on horses, something to take with you. You've been heaven and horn about something you want to say. What is it? OK. You want to ride orphan. Oh. And I think that she wants me to as well. I, I, can, I can just tell. Honey, 
You don't know the first thing about riding a horse. Well, then teach me. That horse likes you. I give you that. But up till the, up till a day ago, she wouldn't let anyone touch her. She ain't broke. Often would have to be broke and trained, and that don't happen overnight. I know. I'm a trainer. That's what I do. It's what I did. You just you just called her orphan. Oh boy. It's catching on. It's an awful name. I was thinking, what if I stuck around here for a little bit? No. And I, I can clean, I can take care of Orphan. No. Nope. I won't get in your way. And if something's wrong, I'll, I'll be gone. No, look. I think you're a good kid. I do. But you got people out there looking for you, and I should have reported you early on. If they find out that I'm letting you stay here, it's not you that's going to get in trouble. It's me. Well, if they catch me, I'll, I'll tell them that you didn't know I was here, that I was hiding and stealing from you. No. no I'm just going to sleep in the barn with Orphan tonight, and I'll be out of here. I'll be out of here in the morning. You're not staying down there again. You can't tell me what to do. I don't want nothing to happen to you. That's the last thing I need. Come here. You can stay in here for the night. Nice bed. You'll be more comfortable. Whose room is this? I'll see you in the morning. Simon dumped a bucket of water on his horse, which agitated him even more. What's agitated? Um, it means it made him upset. I want to ride a horse someday. Mm, you're going to ride a lot of horses someday. I'm sure of it. Honey, you're going to get to do a lot of things in your life that I didn't get to do. And you may not think that I'm there with you, but I will be. I gotta stop for the night. I can barely keep my eyes open. Okay. You wanna come over? Caroline, we're not doing that same routine. If you wanna get back together this time, you better put a ring on it. Oh, okay. I didn't realize I was dating Beyonce now. Um, but I'm sure you realize you're kind of acting like the girl in this relationship. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. Well, maybe one of us has to be. And you know what? According to you, we're not in a relationship, so. I don't want to see your face again. Oh. Uh, until tomorrow, when I see you. OK, fine. I'll see you tomorrow. Caroline, you know I'm crazy about you, right? Yeah, I know. Yeah, I just want somebody who feels the same way about me. I mean, look at this physique. <laughs> I'm sure there are plenty of ladies who would love to have some offspring with these jeans. Ooh, yeah, there are. Lots of ladies. Uh-huh. Come on. Look, get some sleep. The girl will show up somewhere. Good night, Caroline. Good night. Good girl, or 
Griffin? Okay. I need you to stay still because I'm gonna try to get on your back and ride you, okay? Okay, Orphan, don't move. You gotta be kidding me. Stop! <laughs> I told you she ain't she ain't ready. But someone is supposed to be intellectually advanced. How do you explain being so damn dumb? Oh, come on, I know she wants to do this. This ain't funny to me. What were you thinking? I, I, was, I was just trying to ride her. Yeah, I know what you were trying to do. What were you thinking? I don't know. I've, I've never really ridden a horse. I mean, neither neither did my mom. I mean, what if what if that was my last chance? I I had to do it. You okay? Fine. Totally fine. So, can you teach me how to ride her? No. I'm busy. Oh, yeah, busy sitting around here waiting to die. Teach me how to do it. It's a process. It takes time and patience. Two things I have very little of. I told you, I'm selling them. Don't you think she'll be worth it where she's trained? Honey, it don't work like that. Actually, you make a good point. You would sell easier if she was broke, but neither of us gonna be around that long. Okay, well, can you at least just show me a few things I'd have to do? Yeah, I'll show you. I'll show you some things. You want me to show you some things? Maybe you get the idea. It's a difficult process. It's... I'll show you a few things. And then no more conversation. Wait. Wait, wait for me. Yeah, try these on. Try them. Who's Lucy? Is she your daughter? She was. What happened? Here we go. You missed a good time last night. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I slept without my retainer. Ooh, sexy. <laughs> hey, I want you to take a look at anything outside of the norm with these people. Something ain't right. Like what? Hey. Hi. Oh, I, I see you've got coffee covered. Okay, I just had Gerald put on a fresh pot, but anything? Have you heard anything? No, nothing so far, but I got my guys as well as County searching for her. Okay. Can we take a look at her room? Yes, of course. Please. Um, just mind the mess, sorry. Okay, see, this is a bit here. And this is a bridle. This goes up over her ears, this bridle. And we got to get the bit in the mouth. Maybe some of your magic may work again. You're not going to irritate her. Here. Let's try it. This is the bit, and this is the bridle. I'm going to put this on you. Cool? Cool. OK. Now see if you can get it in there. She's calm now. See, she likes you. Look, she's going right to it. Come on, Orphan. Had it. That's a good girl. Uh, go ahead. Get in there. Had a girl. Had a girl. Yeah. Get this in their ear. <laughs> you know, you got some kind of talent. My Lucy had that. It's a gift. Well, let's get this girl saddled. What do you say? <laughs> I'm enjoying myself. So good, Orphan. I knew she could do it. So many times I've been looking for so someone who makes me smile. It's all in your hands. Now you're here and I don't know why. I've got a funny <laughs> feeling inside. That was so funny.
Come on, girls. Bedtime. Got an early morning. <laughs> Just ten more minutes, please. What you doing today? Daddy, do I look like a prince? You look like Tom Selleck. <laughs> you better hurry up and wash that off your face before your mother sees it. Who do you think drew the mustache? <laughs> you gotta twirl it like it's real. <laughs> you look so beautiful. <laughs> <It's> a prince. <laughs> Come on, girls. Tomorrow I can go to Ben Crowley's place. Check there. You can come along if you think it might help. Might do you some good. I'll think about it. something. Ain't this something, huh? So, how do you take your coffee? Black, please. What does that mean? Means uh, no sugar, no, no milk, just plain. Oh, okay. You know, I just, I've always heard people say, how do you take your coffee, but Never knew what it meant. Now you do. This is my first time making coffee, eh? I hope it's good. Me too. Is, is something wrong? It's fine. Okay. Now you're lying, so just tell me what I did wrong. Well, there's some grounds in it. Oh. Why don't I do this? Coffee's one thing I make real good. Sorry, I just thought they were supposed to be in there. Yeah, of course. See, oh. that's the filter. Can, can I have some? Well, don't they say coffee's no good for kids, stunts their growth or something? I don't think one cup is gonna kill me. You're probably right. Well, let's see. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I, I don't think I take my coffee black. It, just like dirt. It's an acquired taste. <laughs> kind of like you. What's that supposed to mean? I don't know. I just, I think you act all tough, but inside there's, there's a nice guy. Don't get your hopes up. 
I think she'll let me ride her today. We'll see. Orphan! <laughs> come here, girl. Come on. Look at this. She'd come right at you. Come on. Orphan? Good girl. Are you ready to do this? <laughs> Just like we talked about. Yes, good girl. I know you are. Can you help me? Yeah, but I'm telling you, it's not supposed to work this way. Let's see, come on. Here, pull, pull over here, pull oh. over here, pull over here. There you go, there you go. Let's do this, Orphan. Okay, good. Yeah, let me help uh. you. Swing that leg over. Swing it over like an old cowboy. All right. Hey, good girl, Orphan. Just hold that tight. Okay. Squeeze a little bit. Just squeeze, squeeze her leg, squeeze. That's it. Good. Oh, she's going good now. Good. Look at that. Girl, Orphan. Keep a hold of those reins. We're doing it. We're really doing it. That's it, just settle in. Just let the horse feed. Let the horse feed. All right. Careful. Be careful. Hey, Ben. What's up? What can I do for you? Well, we got a, a missing girl. Runaway, 12 years old. Go. Oh. Nope. Are you sure? Same thing I told the people here the other day. This is private property. Ain't no girl here. OK, well, just had to ask. You, uh, you got company? Oh. Double fist in it. One of those mornings, huh? Yes, yeah, one of those. Okay. That horse. It's the same one I almost hit the other day. Yeah. She's yours? Yeah, Freedom's Philly. Oh, Freedom. How is she? Can I say hi to her? Freedom ain't with us no more. Wolves got to a couple days ago. Damn things. What? Why didn't you tell me? I didn't think it was a big deal to you, and I was, I, I'd have got around to it. You know. Of course you didn't. And I'm sure you would have gotten around to it. Go! Get back! Go away! If anything turns up, I'll let you know. You breaking that, Philly? Yeah, I'm trying. Thought you were done with all that. Well, I put a lot of money into that horse, and she'll sell better if she's broke. Right. OK, well, uh, thanks for your time. If you hear anything, say anything, you know how to find us. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. That's, uh, the Kogan boys brought that by. You know, kids, they might have a funeral for a horse. Right. OK. <clears throat> Good to see you. Good luck with the filly, and um, I'm sorry about freedom. It's 
So, uh, what's the deal with freedom? Once upon a time, freedom was Ben's most successful horse. He really loved that horse. Well, he didn't seem too broken up about it. Uh, he doesn't get broken up about much anymore. Unfortunately. You think he knows anything about that girl? Uh, no, I don't. Probably not. <clears throat> Hey, Melissa, it's Caroline. Hello, Caroline. You know, I just wanted to say thank you so much. Um, it was really sweet what your boys did for Freedom's funeral. Oh, Freedom died? You're kidding. No, she did. So, y'all had no idea. No, not at all. Okay. I'm so sorry. You know, I probably misinterpreted something. Take care. Bye-bye. So, what's your end game here? What's that supposed to mean? Well, what are you gonna do now? You got a plan? I don't know. I don't really think about it that much. All I knew is that I wanted out from where I was. Those people that were here the other day, your foster parents? It's really none of your business. Oh, it is my business because now I have the police on my property looking for you. And I lied right to his face. I don't think they believe the word I was saying, so they're going to come back. Maybe, maybe you're just too sensitive. Maybe you deserve what you got. My day, they just slap you on the, on the, you slap the back of your hand with a wooden spoon or something and wash your mouth out with soap just to teach you a lesson, to build character. They... So sorry, you're such a jerk. It's, that smart little mouth got you in trouble, didn't it? Is that what happened? Tell me the truth. Did you, did you deserve it? What happened to all those people in your life, huh? All those, all those people in those pictures. What did you do to all those people? What did you do to them? What happened? You probably deserve the punishment they gave you. Nobody wants to be with you. You probably deserve it. I don't feel sorry for you. Yeah, and you couldn't take it and you ran. Man, that woman. What does it matter? What does it matter? According to you, I deserved it. I deserved it. No, 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 stop, stop. Nice, only miserable life. Stop. Stop it. Hey, stop. Stop. Get away from me. Where are you going? What does it matter to you? You're a kid. You can't be out on your own. I'll take my chances. Goodbye, orphan. <laughs> Then go. I'm not stopping you. Go live your life. Is she okay? Is she okay? Her eyes are clear. That's a good sign. 
You got to be strong now. Honey. This horse needs you now. You got to be strong now. Caroline? Yeah. Call the vet. Okay. And uh, tell her we need to get this horse up to the stable. Your eyes are clear. See it. <laughs> Hi, it's uh, Caroline Crowley. I um, I, I hit a horse, and I we we need some help getting getting the horse up to the stables at the farm. A vehicle ran a red light and crashed into your family's vehicle. I'm sorry, Miss Crowley. Your family didn't make it. What happened? She has some deep bruising, but uh, looks like she suffered some brain trauma. We'll have to take her in and run some tests to determine the extent of it. She's probably in a lot of pain. I think your best bet is to put her down. No, you can't do that. You can't do that, Ben. Don't give up on her. Don't let them give up on you, Orphan. It's OK. It's going to be OK. <gasps> Why are they here? I, I had to call them. They are her guardians. Thank God you're OK. No, I'm not going with them. Shelly, honey, you have to. Look, honey, we've been worried sick about you. Orphan, don't let them give up on you. You can't give up on her. Gerald, help me out here. Hey, hey. Dad, let him go. Do you like to hurt little kids? Oh, oh, oh yeah. my God. Ben, Dad. what the hell are you doing? Gerald, I got to take you, you okay? in now. Jesus, Ben. Just have some fun. Ben. Yeah, well, that kind of fun will get you in trouble. Caroline. Yeah. Caroline, look at her back. OK. These people ain't right. Gerald, hey, I look, will. Look at her back. Shelly, come here, honey. I will. Shelly, honey, come here. Can I, can I look at her back for a second? No, no, no. We've been through enough Excuse here. We're going to take her home. I represent this child's welfare. Hey, hey Miss Jenkins, just let the child go. You don't have a say in this. Thank you. Is it OK if I just look at your back? People are criminals and in the lowest form of life. Ben, you're being released. The court's going to figure out what to do with those other people. Thank you, son. Ben, you got to put your seatbelt on. Don't want anything to happen to you. Law's the law, I guess. You like my daughter, huh? No, I love her.
Doctor, how's she doing? No change, really. I'm not sure what's going on. She doesn't show signs of a concussion. If it is brain damage, she may never be able to walk again. You can go. We'll see how she is in the morning. I need to ask you something. Can you do it to her now? What? Apologize. Okay, I guess I've just apologized often then. I don't mean the horse. I suppose I should. If you were a kid, I shouldn't have shut you out. <laughs> You're my girl, and I shut you out. It wasn't your fault. It was an accident. You were in so much pain. We were both in pain. I shouldn't have pushed you away. I just didn't know how to handle it. Well, I was stupid. I still am. What I'm trying to say is... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's okay. I love you. I love you, I love you, too, you so much. Buddy. Yeah, I love you so much. Shelly back to deal with this mess with her foster parents. Where are they gonna send her? It's for the state to decide. Maybe I ought to adopt her. Unfortunately, they'll never go for that because you're a single male. A little on the old side with a fresh assault charge on your record. I think she wants you to brush her. Me? Me? You! Come on. This is a curry brush. You're gonna move it in circles around her body, but not her cute face or her legs, though. All right. Am I doing it right? Yeah, you're doing great. I can tell she likes it. It's calm. Hey, Shelly. Do you mind if I borrow this guy for a minute? Yeah. Here, you take over. Thanks. Good job. <gasps> what about your daddy issues? They're getting better. Think so? Starting to like me now, huh? You're starting to like me now. <laughs> <laughs> All of a sudden. What a sweet girl. Yeah, you got so much better. She's doing good. And then she's getting cleaner. Yeah. You did pretty good. You did a good yeah. job brushing her. <laughs> All this time, I thought you didn't like me. Yeah. Good girl, Orson. Yeah, good yeah. for you. Good for you. You're happy now. Mm -hmm. See, so you big kiss and love her. That's it, yeah. Where is everyone? 
everybody. Let's go. We're gonna be late. Shelly! Shelly! Over here, I'm coming. More fun and games. You gotta concentrate on the competition. She's ready. Yeah, she's ready. Yeah, she's ready. All right. Let's go. Good job. Good. She's always ready. She's a mad boy. Come on, come be late. We got Art. Where's your dad? Dad. Where's your dad? Ah. He's always late. Dad, come on. Come on. Hurry, take it. Wait too long. Come on, keep it moving. Don't be in trouble. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, oh. I love you. Oh, 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 sweetie, I love you too. I love you too. If I could take all the things from you, I would. If I could take all. Just the